To make a Chinese finger trap out of paper, start by cutting two strips of paper that are about 0.6 inches, 1.5 centimeters wide, and 11 to 12 inches, 28 to 30 centimeters long. Then, cut two more strips of paper that are the same size in a contrasting color. For example, you might cut two red strips and two blue ones for a total of four strips. Glue two of the contrasting strips together at one end to make a right angle or an L shape. Do the same thing with the other pair of contrasting strips. Next, find a thick marker or dowel that's about as big around as your index finger. Grab one of the L-shaped paper pieces and attach the angled part of it close to the end of the marker or dowel with a dot of hot glue to make an arrow shape. Glue the other pair of strips to the opposite side of the marker in the same way. Hold the marker so that the point of the arrow faces up, with the four strips of paper on either side angled down. Turn it so there are two strips in front and two in the back. Grab the front right strip and wrap it around behind the right side of the marker. Pass it under the back right strip. Now, wrap the back right strip around the front of the marker on the right side. Cross it in front of the strip that you wrapped around the back. Next, grab the back left strip and wrap it around the front of the marker on the left side. Make sure to pass it under the front left strip and over the front right strip. Turn the marker around so you can see the back strips. Then grab the strip that's now behind the marker on the right side. Wrap it under the marker and bring it to the front under the front right strip. Your woven strips of paper should now form an X shape on the front and back of the marker. Gently pull the strips to tighten them. Then, Repeat the whole process. Keep doing this until you've completely woven all the strips around the marker. If you run out of room on the marker and you still have a lot of leftover paper, slide the marker down and continue weaving around it. When you have about 0.8 inches, 2 centimeters left over, overlap the ends of the strips and attach them together with a dot of glue. Carefully slide the marker out of the finger trap, which should be open on both ends. If there's any excess paper sticking out from under the ends of the strips where you glued them together, trim it away with scissors. Once all the glue is dry, test your finger trap by sticking your index fingers into it on each end. The trap should tighten around your fingers when you try to pull them apart. To release your fingers, gently push them toward each other so that the trap loosens around them. 